time to get ready guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to Dr. Grassy's channel and today you guessed it the one year anniversary of well you know what it is not that that the Thomas and Sonic show I am so hyped that I want to say that it's been one year since the first season has been released and now it goes to like four seasons we're hoping that we'll see what happens and welcome to my channel and today we're going down the top 10 greatest episodes so let's check them out and let's see what we got. Number one, a supersonic race. It was the official first episode of the Thomas and Sonic show. For starting its plot, Thomas met Sonic at Napford for a supersonic speed race on Yondo Sodor, and thankfully he saved the world both times and even numerous times. He was so good at saving these worlds, even the multiverse, like back from the engine verse, like that how it worked out. And even though Thomas can't be useful and cheeky, but somehow he has been really useful at the moment. And I already know this one, but that's how pretty much crazy it is. And when the next time they knew, they even met their worst enemy, Metal Sonic. Yep, you guessed it. Metal Sonic was a big robot, it looks like Sonic, like you know from Sonic Prime, and even so much more. But when you look at these crazy vids, that's how crazy as much as itself. Number two, Thomas and Bruno. In the original All Witch and Skull episode, Bruno was like an autistic uh, break fan, and somehow Skip's owner of Speedy Skip of Sora Line. Bruno has become one of the greatest American break fans ever of all. As you guys can see, Bruno is like the greatest American break fan that you guys ever know. If you guys already knew, the fact that about him is that he carries number 43 on the side, he has like, like 8 wheels, and even a great lamp. If you guys really like Bruno, you might want to know in the comments below, if you want to know for itself. Number 3, Percy and Tails. In our greatest journey of Percy and Tails' story, for the greatest look, they came after one of its second great moments about Percy and Tails, how they even worked together with the male. For Dylan Cole, as a journalist, he really makes some great news about everything that he went through. He was also of the fact of Dylan Cole, as you guys already know, that he've already voiced in the Tales of the Northwestern Rails, which is back from the Tales of the Northwestern Rails, The Witcher's Wrath arc, and the Souls of Old Crisis arc, and, and, and as well as Season 6. Accessories like he even used a camera, even a book that he even writes about as a journalist. In the original episode of this one, Percy and Tails have kind of combined a great lightning bull engine. And you pretty much like that he was a great god of thunder, if you guys recognize that. It was pretty funny what you know, but if you guys really like Percy about lightning, you might be really want to know from one of these, you'll be able to make its test to see how crazy the guy looks. Number 4, a sticky paint problem. So for the engines on Sodor, they've been really great to have fun with their lives. After what happened about this chaos happened, everything was going very well, but somehow things went to problems for worse. That Spencer got hit by a bunker of coal laying on the tracks, there was even Thomas got covered in paint that somehow he was covered by back from calling all engines, and even Percy got stuck in the jam. Although, you might be even wondering, like, terribly hilarious though. Like, you guys want to really know that when there is pretty much funny, like, you need to clean up before you're in bad shape. Number 5, Monster Truck Madness. While you guys were calling that Monster Truck was a great one, but somehow, the Lurys recognized that. After what happened of Sonic vs. Mario, Thomas had heard the news about the Monster Truck Madness afterwards. And if you guys already knew, people wanted to recognize that boys are like the worst boys ever. But somehow, they get to recognize how they were getting into the Monster Truck Rally if they need to sign up. And the coolest thing is that they become big monster trucks like they really became. They even became so redder, even stronger, and even more compatible than ever. I mean, look at these guys, they're like amazing more than ever the barrier, like they were. And I even bet that we recognized, I would be shocked to go there for once in a while grow up. Number 6, Salty Shanty. Lots of which around the episode looks like the all just go pretty much looks like a different Salty on a daily basis. But luckily, that Salty looks so smart that he travels from big adventures. The 
best example is this, is when Salty tells Thomas about this story. They need to know how that really good, how it really looks. And somehow you want to recognize that this pirate looks amazing that you thought it would be. And somehow you realize that was awesome. Number 7, Theo and Fergus, for the Sonic Show Season 3, Episode 3. One piece of Fergus that he was constantly getting tired of how he was really tired of all the work. Thankfully for Fergus, he wanted to be really useful, and but he needed some partner to help him out, so let him be really useful if he finds an engine named Theo. Use an experimental engine who will help Thomas at the Steel Lords. While the engines are being really useful, they get themselves useful on the daily basics. But luckily, Fergus and Theo are being really useful and they help together. The best example is this, is when they realize that they're like different bases but with different shapes. And they even different colors. They even help working together pulling some big trucks at the moment. And you even realize that Fergus and Theo are like a great team. And that's why they call it the Traction Twins. Number 8, Ivan and Duke, from Season 3, Episode 1. This episode was recently based on the Great Railway Show, and even the Railway Series stories. Although it's somehow different. For one of these engines, or diesels, Ivan was one of the great Russian diesels that needed to help out Derek's fueling problems. But the other engines wanted to help him out, but somehow, I feel like that Ivan really got this, and Derek somehow even got his feeling problems at the moment, but at least Ivan and Derek were even friends. Even though these engines were being really useful, but Diesels and Steamies need to work together. It was pretty much a great moment, but when you look back from calling them engines, you can also hear that quote from the movie. Number 9, The Book of Spells from Season 3, Episode 6. This one was one of the Season 3's final, um, episode that it kind of, like, makes sense that, like, it, like, reminds of, like, He-Man and Master Universe Season 2 when the sigil of his appeared. And some of them was different, and then this time, this episode was even more different. After what happened from Seasons or Episodes Season 3 1 to 5, they were all caught up in their own stories. But in this one, we really think that, that the Book of Spells would open their multiverse stories where how would they begin their own new adventure in the multiverse? Or the engine first for sure. But somehow, you really think that it's going to be more different possible than ever imagined. And even more, one of these great voice actors, Victor Tanzik, and even me, I've been like great voicing and some of the other voice actors are good as their own. Somehow, they're pretty much interesting. Before we begin our one final pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The final battle is upon you, my friends. For that song... That Salty, is cinema! I meant to ask, what was your adventures at sea look like? So what do you think of that story? Wow! That's a really good story you've told us! Number 1. The Calm Before the Storm This was inspired by Percy and the Beast Productions, but in this episode, this was really different when Gordon became the General, who we see called his driver General Keith, for one of his second great moments back from Sword of Dark Realm on April, because that happened like the last time. But in this one, it's gonna be way different than we expected. I didn't know this would happen! For what happened from seasons 1 through 3, Thomas had been recognized that all four engines, or even two diesels, have escaped them on Deptford, and then they realized that they went to Ulfstead Castle as the kingdom of their own safety patrol. Then Thomas realizes that there was these multiverse stories, or symbols, that kind of happened when Charlie kind of crashed into the wrong siding, and realizing what will happen next. But then on, we, we need to see how Thomas and Sonic went to their own adventures at the moment of first. So we hope we want to know whether will happen or what will happen in the future. Starlight Timberyard, here we come! If you agree with our list, what is your favorite episode, character, multiverse character, Diesel, a new Diesel, or even every single character in the multiverse you like? 
before we begin our top pick, be sure to subscribe to Dominic Rossi and make sure that maybe next week, episode two will be our Thanksgiving episode called A Journey to the Galaxy. So I hope you guys enjoy our top 10 greatest Sonic show episodes and look forward to our third episode, the Thomas and Sonic Sega Return of the Engineverse.